Okay, so this should be an interesting one, or a fun one, hopefully, uh, with a little bit of caveat, because I don't really know much about this pepper. This is an orange tornado pepper, and I grew this. Um, I have been told that this is somewhere near, like, the Scotch Bonnets, and so as I'm getting into, like, my, my pepper season, like, Scotch Bonnets are my favorite pepper, I'm working through these style peppers, and then I'll be getting into some hotter ones. Um, not to say that this isn't hot, because this is definitely a hot pepper, but I don't know much about this pepper, and that's kind of what scares me a little bit. This is what I do know about the pepper, which is not much. Um, so I got this from Funky's Greenhouse, which is here in Cincinnati, where I live, and they have like hundreds of different varietals of peppers. And this is an exclusive to Funkies. So anyway, let me backtrack. It's a Funkies exclusive. It's bred by the Baby Red Pepper Company, which I have never heard of before. And I actually searched for them online and I couldn't even find a website. So that's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, it says the, they're large, prolific plants. Um, they have uh, produced mountains of good size, three to four inch orange pods with similar heat to of Scotch bonnets. So that's as much as I know. I just love the flavor of Scotch bonnets, and so if there's gonna be similar peppers, I definitely want to like try those out. And that's the same thing that happened with um, uh, the, the Bohemian goat that I did in my last uh, pepper video. So anyways, this is what it looks like. And I'm assuming it's called a tornado because it kind of looks like a tornado. You know, like you got like the, the wide top and then like this like going in bottom. Kind of looks like a tornado, I'm not gonna lie. So, cool looking pe uh, pepper. Uh, let's, I'm gonna cut it open and see, and make sure that there's nothing weird going on inside of it before I go ahead and eat this bad boy. Ooh, that has got a large, ooh. I'm just gonna trim off the little bit of the green the stem here. Why I gotta do peppers that are so big? Why's it gotta be so big? It smells, um, uh, fruity yet again, not as fruity as the Bohemian Goat. Like the Bohemian Goat was just like radiating juiciness. This is got is a little bit more on the like slightly vegetative side, but not not too crazy. So this is what the inside of it looks like. All right, time to eat it. See what happens. This is the orange tornado. Not as juicy as the Bohemian Goat. <coughs> Freaking gag that thing a little bit. Alright, it's a warm boy. It's um not quite as hot as the Bohemian Goat, the last pod that is similar to this. <clears throat> and that that uh, that goat pepper was actually more delicious than this too. Not to say this isn't a tasty pepper; it's definitely tasty. It just doesn't have that like extreme like juiciness. This <clears throat> this is definitely more like um, hmm, more habanero-y in burn, kind of. <clears throat> Like it's attacking the lips and attacking the back of the throat actually. Whereas a habanero would normally going to be going tongue on me. So it's got a different burn actually than a habanero, but it's like stabby like a habanero would be. I love peppers that have this like stabby, relentless burn. They're so different than like Ghost pepper, scorpion, all those like super hot. Like these hurt. I wouldn't say like they both hurt like super intensely. Like this is such a different kind of burn. Whew. This is the kind of burn you kind of want to live in. Like just kind of like calm, close your eyes, and just kind of. Sit in it. And like breathing just feels so good. Like that's so, it's such a refreshing. A little bit of snot. What's going on here? 
Man, that burn is great. Man, I just love this family of peppers. This whole Scotch bonnety, goat pepper, now this tornado pepper. It's tasty. Like, it's not floral. It's not super juicy and not super fruity, kind of like the last peppers are, have been. It's kind of, like, it's not like super vegetative, like you're gonna be going like jalapeno serrano. Like, that tastes like you're eating a garden. Or like a pico, like a pico de gallo kind of situation, you know, where it's like very um, gardeny, very fresh, like vegetative, like that. Like this is like in the middle. Like it has a like I don't even know how to explain it. The clean taste. It's not a super vegetative taste, but it's like more like pod forward and less like juicy. But I will say it's like a very ripe tasting pepper. Um, it's good. You know, like, okay, applications for this guy. Um, I think that you're gonna be, so the last one I said would be good in a salsa. Like this could be working in a salsa, but it doesn't have like a lot of flavor to the pepper. So I think you wanna be going like a little bit more saucy. So I would use like, like cooking in this, like maybe like saute them outside, add them to food so you could top like, Make a little appetizer. <coughs> Make little appetizers with these. Like this might be good. Like topping on like a little grilled shrimp. You could do like, um, like a like a weird in a weird way like a grilled shrimp cocktail and like kind of use this like an appetizer with like a little slice of this pepper like on top of it. I think would be really good with a little dollop of some sort of kind of like sauce. Um, would be really nice. Um, I think like an accompany. Um, a accompanying savory sauce with this would be like really really delicious um, but for some reason I just kind of want to go I want to go grilled and I want to go seafood with this pepper for some reason I'm not really sure why but um, it's good um, I guess you could also go chicken with it too but um, for some reason I'm just thinking like appetizer <clears throat> I'm thinking like a one a one bite kind of situation you could dice this up and put this with hummus or like sort of dips or like make a cheese ball out of it or something like that, which would be really cool. Um, I think, like, using it in a dip, I think that's... This pepper doesn't have a ton of accompanying flavors with it, so I think that using it with a powerful flavor is going to be the best bet. Okay, anyways, delicious pepper. Heat scale, uh, I'm going to say this put me at a... It's, I'm in the, uh, the high four to low five range, somewhere in there. Um, spicy, but good. Okay, hope you enjoyed. See you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to—oh man, it's going to be great! Bye.